On today's episode, we're going to review this website, which is a website for Chamber Music Festival. It was designed by Susan, who is a student in my web design course. And we're going to see it's actually a pretty great website, but we're going to see if we can give her some comments and feedback to make it even better. Let's dive right into it. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode where I'm going to review a website, I'm going to talk about the strategy, user experience, visual design, make sure that we can make this website even better than what it is right now. So here's what I see. There's actually even a nice loading animation when you get into it. Um, it's a pretty nice looking website. Looks, I would say, quality. You can see like that it's um, well designed right off the bat. But my first experience seeing this is actually there's a lot of things going on on the screen. So there's this whole navigation, which is um, loaded with a lot of options. Then we have this kind of like um, headline, two calls to action, then these three other elements here, then this color, and we can also see the kind of the next sections of the website already so there's a lot going on so first of all the main i would say that in terms of hierarchy backstage access front row experience and you can see them playing in the background i would say this is quite of a good value proposition immediately you understand what do you get here on this website obviously it's for chamber music and you get backstage access front row experience very quick very to the point so i think this is a really good headline you can either buy tickets or see event schedule so you really understand um, the call to action it's very very clear again as i said i think there's a lot going on i think actually let me go here to inspect element and see um First of all, I love seeing here that it was built with Webflow, but if I can just go here into the section, let's see, Hero Interactions, and uh, make the height 100 vertical height. So notice what I did. I changed for this whole section to take up the whole screen, and now actually it looks really clearer, right? There is a, more space for everything. You don't get to see this line and this next two things. So. I would think this is much more impactful. It kind of clarifies things, make the composition stronger. Most of the website is now kind of black, so it gives more prominence to this. So I think this way would actually make it stronger. So having the hero take up the whole screen. Now, just in general, while I'm scrolling here, I can see that there's a container here for the website. So the whole grid is kind of contained here, but I would think I would actually, and I'm looking at this right now at a 27 inch screen. I think that this container here is a little small. I think the website could actually be a little wider. This, you can see that there's not enough space for everything that goes on in this navigation. By the way, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six navigation um six navigation item then there's the search and then there's the call to action support us so there's actually about eight buttons here at the top which is i would say a lot and you can see it's crammed because there's not too much um, information here i would think how you can either space this out maybe move the support us and the search to a, a different row um, just so there is more space for everything because right now it's a little bit cramped it feels overwhelming also just because the logo here is kind of like uppercase serif font and it, it kind of looks the same so uh, the links and the logo I, I think a little bit of spacing and a little bit of sizing could make this look a little better um, also there's this kind of a hover um, opacity change on the logo which I think is a little bit weird um, why would the logo need to disappear uh, I mean I understand that it's great to see that it's clickable but maybe I don't know about reducing the opacity so this is the hero section again I think it's it looks pretty great um, when you scroll down you get into this section which is latest festival news and exceptional music so here's there is a video and this is basically okay upcoming news but I think this I'm trying to look here what's going on here because there's a lot going on so we have this kind of a date component here September July July and then there's title and some text to it but the way that I see it 
This takes up a lot of attention because it's a big block of color. And then here, obviously the title needs to take up attention. So it's bold and it's black. So right now in terms of hierarchy, I think it's really not clear what I should look for. Everything is trying to yell at me, right? So notice here, uppercase, the name of the thing is uppercase. This is screaming at me and this is screaming at me. So I don't think that this component, this news uh, component is well designed. I would think either in terms of layout, lay it out, maybe the date should be above that, or just in terms of the use of color, I'm not sure, and Susan should probably say in terms of hierarchy, what is more important? I would probably think that the name of the event or, or the news is the most important thing. The date should probably be reduced in hierarchy. So either by size, by layout, or by the color that it takes, I would reduce that so that we're, uh, this whole thing is easier to um, consume. Maybe even make the title here a little bit bigger um, so that let's see again let's play with the inspect element if i go here let's see if i can very easily change the color here of the yeah if i change the color here to something that is a little bit lighter right let's say something like this of course it's not the the right color but uh let's say the color was lighter and let's say the the um titles here were a little bit bigger um, let's go change here the title, phone size. Is this the font size? Nope. This doesn't change things. This doesn't change things. Okay, this changes things. All right, so I, I've made really quick iterations, but notice right now, and again, this is not perfect, but right now it's very clear that we have this at the top, it's really easy to scan down and see what the news are. Then obviously I'll probably do the, the date. If this is really light, I'll do the text here, um, dark and not white, but at least the hierarchies is a little bit clearer now because we know like one, two, three, it's easier to consume that way. Keeping uh, on the scrolling down here, so now we have this kind of image on the left, image on the right, which is a rather, I, th I would say, um, you see this composition all the time and I use it as well, but there's something here that, a little, that bothers me a little bit. I mean, I can see that the content or the container is around this line where the image is, um, finishes. And for some reason, this text does not align to this image. So the, the grid is kind of like going a little bit I don't know. I, I don't really understand this. I think this, this looks a little bit weird and unaligned and uh, using alignment as a tool in design is something that we do a lot of time to create a sense of order, a sense of clarity. And when everything is aligned and neatly, um, you know, looking neatly aligned, we, we get a sense of, of trust of, again, clarity. And when things are not exactly aligned, it gives a little uh, sense of disorder. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure this is the right Right thing to do here you know you can use this order if you want to communicate this order but specifically in the content I think of a website for classical music chamber music why why are you uh, communicating this order I don't think this was on purpose and so if this is not on purpose I would have everything aligned one more thing I want to say here about the font so I can see you know even without checking and I did check this previously it looks like a Google font um, it's a nice serif font I'm not sure what the name is let me check um, so the name of the font is crimson text I mean it's okay but I think like there's much more delicate high-end serif fonts if you would invest or have the client obviously invest in something that is not a Google font you could find even on Adobe Typekit, which can be for you if you have, a, you know, Adobe subscription fonts that look much sharper, much like higher, higher value, I would say, because I feel like this font, which looks a little bit generic, probably because it's a Google font, makes the website look a little bit cheaper. Um, this is just my personal point of view, but I always... Um, you know, when working on high value website for great clients, I always like to invest in font, which is custom, which is like Google fonts are okay, but because everybody's look, using them and they're free, they kind of get the sense of free font. And I'm not sure that's what you want to communicate with this specific website. So, 
I want to go into the event schedule page because obviously this was kind of like the secondary call to action on the homepage. It's pretty important, right? And I'm going here into the concerts and events. So there's right now, there's only kind of like one main event. I assume it's not taking up the whole space because maybe there is more. So this is kind of a generic layout. But what really bothers me is here, this past event, this past event, when I scrolled into it, I'm looking at it. I'm just basically overwhelmed with text, a lot of text that just like previously, there's no clear hierarchy here. So like this concert, this date, this title, everything is very, very similar in terms of, you know, font size, in terms of scale, there's no clear hierarchy here. So I'm, I can't really skim and the way that we usually go over content when we are going over a website is we're scheming. So our eyes are jumping from headline to headline, trying to see if we can find really quickly what's interesting for us or the answer that to the question that we're currently trying to solve. So here you can't see that because there is no clear hierarchy. So I'm not even sure where to look. And obviously because I'm lazy, just like everybody else on the internet, I'm not going to actually read all of that. And I think that by not having clear hierarchies to the type here, we're actually losing people. So I'm not sure maybe this should have been organized on a timeline that's easy. You can scale uh, through the timeline or maybe based on if this is a concert or open rehearsal, maybe there should be categories or icons or colors, but there's a lot of design elements, as I've mentioned, color, um, icons, organization and layout that can help you create um, and make this content much more schemable and easy to, do, to digest so people can actually enjoy it and find what they're looking for. Now, when I get here into the bottom, actually I'm in this, look at this area. This area I, I feel is highlights a point here. We have this meet festival artists, make a gift, volunteer, subscribe and support us. So on this specific area, there's so many calls to action and a lot of them look just the same. So this is again, a, a case of hierarchy. If all buttons look the same in terms of size, in terms of color, none of them is the most important one. Cause obviously if you try to make all of them, most important one, nothing is important. So I assume between those two, it's clear that make a gift is primary and volunteer is secondary. But when you have this one as primary, this one is primary and this one is primary and this one is primary, that's kind of like nothing is primary, right? Also one thing, I don't know why everything on the website is orange and only support us here is um, purplish magenta type. I don't know, that's kind of weird that it's kind of outside the normal, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Also, I can see something here. Um, when we're scrolling here, we have this scroll up, which by the way, I click and it does not work. But more than that, now we have something else. We have this social button on top of that. So we have two things, which is obviously not very usable. But even that, I mean, I didn't understand this arrow means sharing because obviously this is share to um, this looked to me like either move to the next page or go up just because it's like looking outside of the page, maybe move to the next page or something like that. So I think this is not really clear. Um, so obviously we need to solve this positioning because you can't have two elements. If you have like a scroll up button, you need to position this somewhere else. And I would actually make this clear that this is a share button. Overall, as I said, um, I think this is a great website and I, I think it's, it's very well designed and it will help the client. Um, it will do a good work for the client. Most of the, the uh, issues that we had here were mainly in terms of layout and a little bit of hierarchies, which I find a lot of designers struggle with understanding hierarchies when it comes to text and layout. So this is something crucial that everybody needs to work on and improve. I hope this was helpful for you. If you want to learn more about web design and uh, improve your process, check the link in the description. We have a new course, the $10,000 website process. Check this out and see if it's relevant for you. I'll see you on the next video.